as part of efforts to ensure violence free polls, Kaduna State Peace Commission, in collaboration with other stakeholders, have expressed readiness to ensure peace in the state before, during, and after the 2023 general elections. They stated these are the signing of a peace pact among politicians. Now, the chairman, Kaduna State Peace Commission, Reverend Idoa Fieron, enjoyed politicians to have the fear of God and play by the rules. Also, the state governor, Nasir El Rafai, who was represented by the deputy, Hadiza Balarabi, admonished all political actors to enlighten their followers against electoral violence. I'm sorry to say that most of these debates are led by religious leaders who have the backing of political party leaders. So, brothers and sisters and friends, let us do some reflections as we sign this peace accord. The Kaduna State Government appeals to all political actors to commit to peaceful campaigns devoid of hate speech, violence, and intolerance. It is important to note that careful attention has to be paid to the messages posted and shared on social media which is more ubiquitous and therefore even more important than the traditional campaign softbox. Also, members of civil society organizations urge political parties and candidates to embrace each other and sign a commitment to peaceful elections. Dialogue with governorship candidates on sustaining peace dialogue at the state, local government, and the community levels in the state. This is targeted at addressing issues that pose threats to peace and security, thus ensuring accountability. Speech by politicians, while giving the spotlight on the theme of the day, building consensus and mobilizing collective action for peaceful 2023 general election. No contestant here, by whatever name from whichever party, will want a fallout as a result of breach of the peace before, during, or after the election. As we go out on the field very shortly, we are calling on all our supporters to ensure that we follow the laid down rules guidelines and responsibility. We need to work with the people in the grassroots. They will not watch the television as I'm speaking now. Not are they going to listen to radio, or not are they going to read newspaper. They are there on their own, they are frustrated with life, they are angry with how things are not working, and they are going to react. So we are appealing to Kaduna Peace Commission and all other organizations that are working on this, that look, let's reduce the ceremony and emphasize on reaching out to the grassroots, taking the message to the people that matters. And the political actors, from what I've said, just come and sign, what are they signing? These are part of the issues we are concerned about. I don't see their commitment, I don't see a serious commitment, because most of those here are either deputies or uh, senatorial candidates, uh, just few candidates of but the major actors that people are talking about are not even here. We don't want this thing to just be a ceremony, we want an honest engagement that people will see politics as their own. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.